For the next five weeks of social studies, we are going to be learning about the five senses. In today's class, we are beginning with seeing with this book by Lisa Owings. Let's go. Weekend art fair. Today is art fair day. You look through the displays. Many paintings are dripping with bold colors. Interesting shapes catch your eye. You bend close to study each work of art. Racks of photos display different places. You spot a beach you have visited. Smiling at the memory, you buy the photo. You look up as you leave the fair. The sky is just starting to glow pink. Wow! What is seeing? Our eyes allow us to see the shapes and colors of our world. The objects we see either make or reflect light. Some of this light reaches our eye, like this. First, that light hits the cornea, which is the clear front layer of the eye that bends light towards the pupil. What we see as a black dot is really the window into the eye. The colored iris opens and closes around the pupil. This controls how much light reaches the lens. So here, when there's more light to the lens, the pupil gets bigger. With less light, the pupil gets smaller. Just behind the iris, the lens focuses light onto the retina at the back of the eye. The retina is filled with rod and cone cells. Cones sense color and detail. Rods sense size, shape and brightness. These cells send messages to the brain along the optic nerve. Then the brain reads the image. What seeing teaches? Of all the senses, the brain spends the most energy on seeing. Everything we see helps us understand the world. Sight helps us know how to move our bodies. We see how far to move to catch a ball or avoid bumping into someone. Our eyes help us find patterns. Faces are patterns we easily recognize and remember. So are the letters and numbers that let us read and do math. We use our eyes to study our surroundings and the actions of others. Our eyes spot danger to keep us safe. They also show us beauty in the world. Now let's go through some of the words we learnt in today's book. Cone is a cell on the retina that lets us see colour and detail. Cones lie mostly around the centre of the eye and need bright light to work well. Cornea is the clear outer layer of the eye. The cornea covers the iris and pupil. Detail is a small part of a larger whole. Focuses means to bend rays of light, forcing them to meet on the retina. Image is a picture of an object. The iris is the colored part of the eye that surrounds the pupil. The iris loosens or tightens to let in more or less light. The lens is the clear part of the eye that bends light to land on the retina. The optic nerve is the nerve that sends messages from the retina to the brain. Patterns are things that are repeated. Pupil is the round black dot at the center of the eye. Light enters the eye through the pupil. Reflect is to bend light from a surface in an opposite direction. Retina is the thin lining at the back of the eye that is filled with rod and cone cells. And finally, rod is a cell on the retina that lets us see in dim light and make out size and shape. Now it's your turn to share what you think and feel about seeing. Share with me down below why you think seeing is so important and then write down what are some things you learned in today's class. After this, I'll see you in the next class for some more learning fun. That's all for now. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.